Today, we're going to be tying the Doc Hall's tailing shrimp. Daniel Hall was well known for fishing bonefish and also for tying really great bonefish flies. We're going to start this fly by wrapping our thread halfway back to the bend of the hook. Then we will wrap back to a quarter of the way down the hook shank. You can snip your thread now. We will now split the wraps once again. We are doing this to form a base for our bead chain eye to sit on. We will now tie in our bead chain eye with a few X wraps. Then make sure to under wrap as well. As always, make sure and add a drop of super glue to keep that eye from spinning. Rotate your fly upside down. Now we will cut our fiber. I'm going to use a tan color, but you can use pink, brown, or any color to match your local shrimp. We want to measure our fiber to about double the length of the hook. I then double up the fiber and cut at double the length. We then tie in our fiber right at the center. Then we can double it up on itself and tie that side in as well. Now we will be taking a single strand of crystal flash. We will want to cut this strand in half as well. Then you can tie in the crystal flash in the same manner as the fiber. Now we will take a grizzly hackle feather and measure the length to just pass the fiber strands. Mark that measurement with your finger and pull back the fibers on that mark. Now snip off the rest of the fiber at that mark and strip a few of the fibers away at the base. Now you can tie in the feather so it is on one side of the fly, but above the fibers and the flash. We will prepare another hackle fiber in the same manner and tie it in on the other side of the fly at the same angle and above the fibers as well. Now build a smooth head on the fly and whip finish. To finish this fly, I like to add a bit of UV curing epoxy. Make sure and spread the epoxy smoothly over the head and cure. If you want, you can just add a drop of super glue, add head cement, or even 5 minute epoxy. I just personally like the look and ease of using UV curing epoxy. So that is the finished fly. Just like any Crazy Charlie variant, it is a really simple fly to tie, and is also extremely effective for bonefish in the flats. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Go catch some fish.